Sally is using graph sketching software to design the landscape of the four hills shown in figure 1 below. She starts by using the square root functions h, h1 and h2 to model the shapes of three of the four hills, as shown in figure 2 below. The rule for the function h is h of x equals the square root of 2 minus x. State the maximal domain for h. Looking at the graph of h of x, we can see that the maximal domain is going to be from minus infinity to 2. And so the maximal domain is going to be from minus infinity to 2 where 2 is inclusive. The rule for the function h1 is obtained by reflecting the graph of h in the vertical axis. State the rule for the function h1. Looking at the graph of h1 of x, this is the graph of a square root function translated two units to the left. And so the rule for h1x is going to be the square root of x plus 2. The rule for the function h2 is h2 of x is equal to 2 times the square root of 3 minus x. Write a sequence of two transformations that map the graph of h onto the graph of h2. To get the rule of h2 of x, we need to dilate the function h of x by a factor of 2 from the x-axis. And we also need to translate it one unit to the right. And we can see this on the graphs. The point 2, 0 is translated one unit to the right. And so the sequence of two transformations is going to be a dilation by a factor of 2 from the x-axis and a translation of one unit to the right. Let the transformation T1 be a transformation that maps the graph of H onto the graph of H2. Find one set of possible values for A, B, C and D. We just write down two sequence of transformations that map the graph of H onto the graph of H2. Looking at the transformation matrix, the value of A reflects or dilates the function from the y-axis. And since we had no reflection or dilation from the y-axis, the value of A is going to be 1. The value of B reflects or dilates the function from the x-axis. And since we had a dilation by a factor of 2 from the x-axis, the value of B is going to be 2. The value of C will translate the function left or right, and since we had a translation of one unit to the right, the value of C is going to be 1. And the value of D will translate the function up or down. And since we didn't translate the function up or down, the value of D is going to be 0. Find the value of x for which the slope of the hill defined by the function h is equal to the slope of the hill defined by the function h2. If the slope of the hill h is equal to the slope of the hill h2, then this means that the gradient of these functions must be equal. And so h dash of x must equal h2 dash of x. Setting this up in the calculator, we can solve for the value of x. And so solving for x, and so this is when x is equal to 5 on 3. Sally decides to use a quadratic function h3 to model the shape of the fourth hill in her landscape. Find the rule for h3, a quadratic function with a selection point at 4, 6 and which passes through 2, 2. To find the rule for h3, we need to use the turning point rule for a parabola. And this is y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. And this is because we've been given the coordinates of the turning point, which is 4, 6. And so the value of h is equal to 4, and the value of k is equal to 6. And so we're going to get y is equal to a times x minus 4 squared plus 6. We're told that the graph of this function passes through the points 2, 2, which means that when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2. And so using this information, we can solve for the value of a. And so we can say that 2 is equal to a times 2 minus 4, which is minus 2 all squared, plus 6. Rearranging this, we can solve for the value of a. And so 2 minus 6 is equal to minus 4, and then minus 2 squared is 4, and so this is going to be 4a, and so therefore the value of a is going to be minus 1, which means then the rule of h3 of x is going to be minus x minus 4 squared plus 6. 
Thanks for watching this video, and if you want to see the solutions to the rest of this paper, as well as the solutions to all the Maths Methods exam asked from 2006, then join the Maths Methods Club where you can see video solutions for all the Maths Methods exam questions grouped into 6 main topics and 35 smaller subtopics. The question we just went through was testing your understanding on transformations. If you want to practice more questions related to this topic, just click on functions and graphs from the main topics and then from the subtopics select transformations. You can go to question type and filter down even more and so let's say you want to do extended response, click on that and then click on filter. This is then going to instantly group all the parts maths methods exam questions related to just the transformation questions which was asked in the extended response section. Go through all these questions to strengthen your understanding on the topic of transformations. This way, you're going to be much better prepared for your SACs and exams. And if you get stuck, you can just watch the video solutions. Good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video.